Hello and welcome back to our Tinkercad tutorial. We have already looked at some basic loop in our last video, so today we'll be looking at another one called Wow Loop. So without further ado, let's start our class today. So in Tinkercad, you can start by changing the exercise name to Exercise 4.2. There are actually one type of wow loop usually. Okay, there's another one called do wow, which is not in Tinkercad, but within Tinkercad, in wow loop itself, it's actually split into two different types. One is called do wow, okay, repeat wow, and another one is called repeat until. We'll be looking at both of them. So first, I want you to do something that have two push buttons, one to start the loop and one to stop the loop. So we'll need to connect both the ground and the 5 volts as well. After doing that, we'll need to set up the two buttons. So we need two resistors that are 10 kilo ohm. We start by completing the first one first. Okay, connect this bit to the power source and then we can duplicate another set of both items. Connect the ground for the second one as well and then the power for the second set. And after that, we'll need to read the value. So we can connect them to any number. So let's say number 9. Okay, and number 8 maybe. Okay, so let's say we want to have an alarm that one of them press to activate. Okay, let's do the first type of wow first. But before that, let's start to put in our LED. Okay, 200 ohm resistor. Connect the LED to the ground. And then connect one of it to one of the signal. So let's say we can use number 4. Any number you choose is purely, is actually up to you. Okay, you can choose any number. And then after that, we'll need a piezo as well. So this positive negative, we'll need a 100 ohm resistor again. Okay, the positive bit will need to connect to yet another signal. So let's say we choose number 2. And then connect the negative leg to the ground. Okay, that's all for our circuits part. Now let's go to the code. Okay, in our code section, we can start by, well I will want to start by talking about repeat while. Okay, our final product will be in repeat undo. But we'll start by discovering what is repeat while. Repeat while means that it will actually repeat everything in there infinitely until the condition is no longer fulfilled. That means the moment the condition is real, it will start until it's not real anymore. So let's say we put in this thing, um, the comparison operator, make it equal 1, and put, for example, read digital pin. Okay, we have two digital pin, 8 and 9. Let's start with number 8. Okay, so remember that pin number 8 will start the alarm. So we use repeat until with pin number 8. And then let's say we just set pin. Okay, this one is number 4. So set pin 4 to hide. Okay, we want it to flash. So we will put in the timer of let's say 0 0.5 seconds. Duplicate this one and change it to your low. Okay, we won't do the speaker yet because I'll do it when we do repeat until. So let's see what will happen with this one. So when you start simulate, as long as you hold down the button without releasing it, it will keep flashing. Okay, this is what the repeat wow, which is a wow loop. Okay, a standard wow loop do. Basically, it will keep running the Condi um, the command as long as the conditions stay true. Okay, stay true means that if this is always reading in, then it will keep repeat that. Another one that only Tinkercad have is actually called repeat until. Okay, let's see what this repeat until can do. So when we change it to repeat until, what will happen is that this thing will be repeat until you hold the button. Okay, which means if I start simulate. Okay, it will keep flashing until I hold the button. Then it will stop. Okay, 
What we can make use of this powerful function is that I can now do a fire safety alarm, something like a fire safety alarm. So I start with if, okay, and then move this thing in. So when number 8 is pressed, it will start the alarm. So I will use repeat until, okay, why I use the repeat until is that once you press the button, it will start the alarm until you turn it off, okay. So how you then detonate turning it off? Uh, put another compression operator and use pin number 9. So now number 8 will start the alarm and number 9 will stop it. Let's try to see if it works. Okay, when we start simulate, if I press number 8, the alarm will start. And then if I want to stop it, I can't just press it once because it could be within. I have to hold it for at least a second, then it will stop. Okay, press to start and then hold to stop. Okay, so that's a basic alarm. So we will want to add in a bit of sound as well. So let's put in play speaker. Okay, speaker tone is number 2 for 0 0.5 second, not 1 second. Okay, doing this, we'll be able to just do some simple fire alarm, which means when I start pressing this one, the alarm will start. When I hold this one, it will stop. So let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see in this example, we have worked through two type of repeat in repeat until and we repeat while in Tinkercad. Okay, so let's see our conclusion. So basically, we can use repeat while to repeat any action when the condition stays true. So basically, it's something like this thing called flowchart. Okay, we start with program start. Then we'll start asking, is the condition fulfilled? If it's no, it will run to the end. But because we are in Arduino, Arduino will automatically look back to the start. Okay, so it will keep running this way until if the condition is yes, then it will look this way. Okay, if the condition stay yes, it will keep repeat infinitely. Okay, now repeat until is actually just the opposite of that. That's when when the program start, it will ask if the condition is fulfilled. If it's not, it will start the command until the condition is fulfilled then it will go to the end of program and then look back to the start okay in this both type of example they are both something called while loop okay the core difference is that the first type is the usual type whereas the second type is actually just match it with something called a not command okay we won't be learning the not command that much in Tinkercad but until you do the coding then you will realize that it this one and this one, the difference is that this one is this one with something called a not in the log logic bit. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and then I will see you in our next video. Thank you.